everyone welcome again to this channel finance with bookie you know one place where you learn about personal finance and career and today i will do another series on you know the making it in germany series that we started it a couple of a while ago and i'm going to be talking about in this episode 10 reasons why you should think about germany in terms of your study yeah so it's not just about you know because the studying in germany is free no but i'm going to share with you 10 other reasons why you should start thinking of packing your bags and coming to germany to study whether for your bachelor's your master's your postdoc okay so without any much ado let's take a deep dive so welcome back one of the reasons the number one reason why you want to consider coming to germany to study would of course be because of the university or the research institute you're coming to visit and the reason is that and this reason is about that these universities are really good they are top-notch world-class universities and they are free <laughs> tuition free so according to the current um university world rankings 48 out of the german universities are one of the one top 1000 universities in the world and seven of those universities are in the top 100 universities don't forget these universities are free you don't have to pay tuition fees and also in terms of their research institute is it max planck um, institute or is it leibniz um, institute Helmholtz institute and all of those other ones fraunhofer they are really really very good research institutes with world class ranking so guys that's one of the reasons why you should start considering coming to germany to study so the second reason why you want to consider consider coming to germany to study of course is because of the economic stability and the political stability the politics in germany is quite stable like really really stable i've been living here for like eight years now and sometimes there will be elections and you will not even know that you know there are elections going on <laughs> until when someone one of one of the party at work you know win before you realize oh was there elections kind of thing okay yeah so we have very stable political um environment and then also in terms of economics right germany is the fourth largest country in the world in terms of gdp behind us china and japan i mean that's massive that tells you something that's okay it's a booming place it's a booming economy and you can easily find your foothold in this kind of places the other thing is that just to buttress the fact of the, ec the economic stability germany is a very export oriented company country that is their export the level of their exports is higher than their level of import import they have more than one one comma three trillion in terms of exports you know which makes them which makes their you know country balance sheets to be kind of robust i would say and they are the number three country in the world in terms of export ranking right which means there's the market if you have the right skills if you have the right knowledge if you put your hands to work you can really achieve great things even after your study here in germany the number three reason why i believe you should come to germany right to study is because of their unemployment rate germany has currently around five 0.7% in unemployment rate which means for every 100 employable person or people that you have around let's say six out of them don't have a job or are uh, out of the job and that's including during these times of covid where you know last year a number of people in so many other countries lose or lost their job right and and that's because in the corporate world of germany they really took advantage of you know really not instead of just severing people's employment a lot of companies com companies went ahead to do reducing the working hours of their of their employees to be able to accommodate more people you know so imagine working in that kind of environment whereby yeah it is capitalistic but also socialist in terms of orientation and then another thing i want you to take out is that you know again imagine in a pool of 100 people 100 employable people only six of them are unemployed that is the fact here in germany so you know if you get your wit together in terms of your skills your knowledge your your flexibility your 
your opponents which it means that you can easily or conveniently find a job a suitable job for you in germany after your studies which I, i believe is a lot of is a major concern for most international people who want to come asking me okay now that i come to study what about you know searching for a job or getting a job or securing a job after my studies yeah so the fourth thing or the fourth reason why i believe we should start thinking about coming to germany again is about the tuition free factor of studying in germany we've said this before if you didn't see that video where where i explained again the concept of tuition free in in germany go to this video on my link and watch that video and also i did a video with another person who had experience you know coming to germany as a as a high school student came did his bachelor's his master's and is now working that video is also here go to the link after this video and go and watch that video so back to you know the issue of tuition right german schools when they are state when it's a, if it's a state school or public school or a government school it's free tuition free that is you don't have to pay school fees and you might think this is really small but i think when you compare this leeway to some other countries who also offer high quality education i think it's something that you cannot necessarily ignore for example in the us if you're looking to you know attend an average school in the us as an international student you'll be parting away on a yearly basis with almost 26000 us dollars that's not small money or even if you're trying to go to the uk as an english speaking international student on the average you'll be parting with almost 14000 us dollars but in germany you don't have to pay for it again like i said it's free you don't have to pay for it and don't forget you can say yes but then i have to take care of my living expenses and all of that of course you do because even if you go to the us today or to the uk today you have to pay for your living expenses yeah so but then in terms of the tuition free again it is really really tuition free so guys don't sleep on it look at it and explore that opportunity so because the number five reason why you should start thinking of coming to germany to study is because when you come to germany to study right most times your school depending on, the, on your kind of group i mean your research group or what you're working on you are most likely going to be offered the opportunity to do a kind of semester ab abroad we call it ausland semester ausland semester so your school is probably in you know your research is or your professor is probably working with another professor in another country and they will give you that opportunity to experience life outside your school so you go to another country to another school of course in liaison with your own school and do a semester there and that way you can learn the culture of the other country you can learn the language you can meet people you have you get more exposure and that is what this opportunity creates for you and most times these opportunities are free that is you don't necessarily have to pay a school fees in that other school that you're going because like i said it's a kind of working together a a collaboration between your school in germany here and this other school you're going to in the other countries and sometimes it could be that you have to pay but then compared to the opportunity that is available to you or the platform i think it's worthy of saying that you should take it up. okay I now so let me quickly rush over the other ones the number six reason why you should think about coming to germany to study would be because you know as a student in germany as an international student for example you have the liberty to work at least 20 hours per week right you know on any kind of job you want to do right and that helps you that gives you some kind of fund to support your expenses you know and also if you're lucky and you get into a job that is related to what you study or what you like to do at the end of your studies that is also okay because actually you can take that as a kind of working experience in your cv yes that is totally totally true so again as a student you can work 20 hours per week or they will give it to you on your visa saying you can work 180, 180 days in a year. All right. So they're saying that you cannot work. So even if you're doing 40 hours per week, you cannot do that for more than 180 days within a year. And don't forget the minimum wage in Germany currently is around, I think, nine, nine euros per nine euros, 15 cent or thereabout or 35 cent thereabout. And imagine doing that for like, um, earning that for like 
20 hours in a week that's around 183 euros and then imagine that's for four weeks right that's around 700 or more euros so you can conveniently work and earn up to 700 euros extra per month to subsidize your 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 living expense and all of that so you know that's some i think that's something because in some other countries you might not even be allowed to work at all or then you are you know put into the tight corner whereby you have to now start doing legal work and all, and all of that but i'm saying that you know germany gives you that leeway to explore the opportunities because they really really put or place premium on hands-on experience and that's one of the advantages i find here living here as a student in germany and also as a working professional the seventh reason why you should start thinking coming to germany and all of that would be or coming to study in germany is because you know you have a a very broad um offer for scholarships and sometimes grants or loans to study in germany yes you can say yeah but you said um it's free of course but then like i said again your living experiences expenses you have to be able to pay for it so yes you can get you know scholarships in germany you know you can get also what we call grants or loans it's called barfog you can also get that as well whether as a bachelor student or as a master student most times the phds are already getting some form of stipend we call it stipendium or so or stipends and these stipends is most times over a thousand euros which i can tell you that it's more than enough for you to take care of your living expenses okay so now if you're a master student or a bachelor student you can apply for scholarships whether with Deutschland stipendium or with dfg or with daad you know i will leave i will list those those um institutes or those platforms in the description link and you can check them out yourself and before i go to the next one i also want to mention that you know some companies actually offer scholarships as well yes companies do offer scholarships you know um sometimes the, the company can offer you a student job we call it student job work study right they offer you student jobs and then they tell you that we will pay for your school fees if you you know if you do certain things and i've seen a lot of people taking the opportunities as well so like i said don't just be open-minded the opportunities are there if you ask the right question and access the right networks and platforms the number eight reason why i believe you should start thinking about coming to germany to study is of course because of the language because you get to learn another language apart from the ones you've learned before now so if you are only speaking one language which is english well i want to say that maybe you want to con consider speaking other languages or learn more than one language because um in this world of today it's that you are learning languages in terms of it languages you know the java languages and all the cc plus languages and all the python languages or you're also learning human language in terms of interactions like english spanish german french and you know um Cantonese and you know Chinese or Yoruba or Igbo whatever language you, you want to learn so coming to Germany coming into a foreign country helps you to learn other language and don't forget it's, on, it's not only Germany that speaks German um, we have other countries like Switzerland they also speak Deutsch in Austria so the dark countries the DACH countries you can utilize this language in these countries the number right. nine reason why you should start considering coming to germany to study is because life is good in germany like, so if you like structured systemized regulated life then germany is your go-to place right you know the trains are structured this is structured everything is structured like you know life is good you have little chaos let me put it that way of course sometimes the trains are late yeah but i mean life is good things go in pace as expected people respect each other they give you space you give yourself space you know people are friendly as well you have opportunity to see a lot of things to learn a new culture to to dream to explore basically that's it and the tenth reason why you should think about coming to germany to study is because you know with a german visa you have access to 26 other schengen countries or 25 other schengen countries right because then with germany is 26 so 
if you are the traveling type you like going to countries going visiting places you know exploring nature culture and different things and atmosphere then that is your stop place because imagine and i think this is even more important for people who are from countries like myself i'm from nigeria right you know getting visa to countries is a, a lot of hassle for people like me <laughs> okay so if you know that you are from a country that get a visa is could be could be really stressful to so many other countries then this might be your plug to visiting those other countries that you think you might not be able to get to because of visa you know and so most times if you get if you really target when to go to these countries you can get you know flights to those countries in a very with a very ridiculous cheap rate right see that flight even trains you can take do train hopping from one place to the other or sometimes even bus you can go with a bus from one place to the other to different countries okay so all right that, that will be that from my side and maybe one last tip for you why you should think about coming to germany to study would be because of the international environment i can tell you that when i look back to when i came at now germany keeps getting more international by the day right you know people are getting to be more open you go into places and you know they recognize that maybe you don't necessarily speak german you speak english or which other, which other language that you speak and they are open to accept you of course they will be willing for you that you also learn their language but they are it's it's really improving and that i must you know just put out there that okay well well done to my <laughs> german brothers and sisters all right guys i hope that helps you in terms of making your decision regarding coming to germany to study or coming to germany to to leave or to do so many other things i'm going to stop there for this particular video if you have other questions drop them in the comment section i will pick it up you know i will chat with you and don't forget also to join my mailing list if you want to get tips around coming to germany for your study and all of that all right guys i'm going to see you in the other videos don't go away stay back bye bye